Hi, this is Paul with iHealthAnswers.com. I want to thank you so much for joining me in this video. Here I'm going to talk to you about the top three hurdles to overcome when going paleo, especially if you're going paleo for the purposes of weight loss. Now before we jump in, I want to invite you to get your free quick start paleo guide complete with audio and companion PDF at iHealthAnswers.com slash paleo. Alright, so on to the first hurdle. The first thing you want to do is try new recipes at least a couple of times a week, more often in the beginning. This is a great way to prevent boredom with this new lifestyle change you're pursuing and it makes sure that you stay the course. Another good idea is to cook all of your food for a week or a month, especially if you're really busy like I am. Cook all of your food for a week or a month in one day and then freeze or refrigerate it so you only have to warm it up at meal time. Second hurdle is failing to prepare for challenges. Now here's the deal. Most processed snacks can be acquired fairly quickly and inexpensively. We know that. So you need to be prepared for the munchies because they're going to attack. Now in order to be prepared, you want to stock up on some good things like uh, carrot sticks, beef jerky, herbal teas, nuts, applesauce, dried fruit, nut butters, and banana chips. These will just about cover every craving that you have for salty or sweet or in between. The third hurdle is extreme fanaticism. Now, here's a deal. A lot of people treat the paleo lifestyle like a religion, and you know, that's perfectly okay. They're well within their right to do that. But you don't want to become one of those really anal, annoying people. Um, especially if you want to pursue the paleo lifestyle, but you kind of want to ease your way into it. So if you're kind of the person who wants to ease your way into it before you go full paleo, you want to opt for a partially paleo diet. You can eat one or more meals per day that are paleo and then have some non-paleo food with dinner. Uh, for example, you might have eggs, bacon, and fruit for breakfast, a big salad with chicken or another paleo option for lunch, and then have beef stew with potatoes or a bowl of rice with beans and veggies, along with some uh, with beans and assorted veggies for dinner. And you know, once you feel comfortable just going full paleo, you can of course uh, chuck the rice and the beans and just you know stick with the beef and the veggies alright so that's it for this video I want to invite you to visit our website to get a free quick start paleo guide complete with audio and companion PDF to help galvanize your efforts you can do that by going to iHealthAnswers.com slash paleo that's iHealthAnswers.com slash paleo I'm Paul with iHealthAnswers.com thanks so much for watching be well